Hey, today I'm going to show you how to replace the screen in a HP ProBook 4440S, uh, 14 inch. And here's the new screen, which got on Amazon for $55. Alright, uh, let's get started. Okay, first of all, you take out the battery anytime you work on a laptop. And then on your screen, the very bottom, right to the right of the ProBook 44S uh, number, I mean uh, name, and the SRS at Premium Sound, are two little circles, and they're glued on. They have a, well, they have like a sticky stuff on them. You can see it right there. You want to take something really tiny, like I have a really small screwdriver, flat screwdriver and try not to touch it too much or it won't stick back on. You can see it right here. So you don't want to scratch the laptop. So you want to try and get behind it. And then there it just flakes right off. And then I try to grab it on the opposite side of what the sticky so I don't touch my finger on it too much. Okay. Now once you get that free, there's two Phillips screws in there. Okay, once you get those two screws out, like a lot of laptops, you're going to pry the, the bezel, which is this front plastic piece. That's called your bezel. Once you get it going, you kind of can see the tabs if you pry this way, like this, as you're kind of using your fingers, it lifts the uh, plastic edge of the lid away from the tab and it comes off a lot easier. I've never done this model, but um, I've done other ones and apparently so far it's it's looked the same. And you don't want to pull it too much. You want to be very careful not to scratch your lid. Okay, so what I did there at the bottom piece down here, because the tabs are at the bottom, I lifted up on this bottom and out a little bit. So it's kind of taking the same effect of the screwdriver. Okay, you can see how that tab is and you those when you come off you just have to kind of twist out and pull up carefully so you don't want to break it okay now as you can see let me grab my camera and give you a different view okay now here on the edges you'll see right there is a screw and right there and right there right there there and there so three on each side now I guess you'll have to take that you'll have to take the top ones out at least
Okay, there's a ribbon cable at the top that you want to you want to pry with a flat screwdriver down. Okay. Okay, once you get that out, here's the ribbon cable here that's taped on, so you have to remove that. And then right here is a piece of tape. And you'll have to pull that out. And that's it. And then we can put the new one on and put it together. So I'm And again, like anything sticky, you want to try and touch it the least amount as possible so it stays sticky. Now some people will leave this plastic piece on until they get it back on, which is what I'm going to do. And then this tape, you can just cut it and pull the plastic piece off. Because I'd rather do that than not damage the screen at all. So lay this back down. Take your cable. I'm going to try and put it the back the same way it was, so that was square along, the tape on. Okay, now before I go put it all back together, I'm going to plug this top cable back in and plug it in and make sure it works before I go back put it all back together. Because I have gotten defective ones. And we have screen, as you can see from the camera view, you can see it glow. So it works, no crack. So now we're free to put it back together. So again, you can take a small standard screwdriver or if you have like an X-Acto knife or razor blade. And what you're going to do is go between the metal here and kind of with a slight angle that way and cut the tape. There, the plastic is off. Okay, once you get all the screws in, that, then make sure this still goes flush and you can put your other two screws up at the top. Okay, and if you look along the edge, you can tell it's, it's seated in there good. Now it's time to put the bezel back on. It only goes on one way, you know, the, the number and stuff facing you in the HP symbol. There we go. Once those are both in there, then you can start snapping it back in. Starting at the bottom.
once you get those bottom pieces snapped in it starts going pretty good The way those bottom pieces hook, the tab is almost like a hole, so you fit it in there, and then once that's in there, it snaps right in. You just want to be careful, and then you can look from up above and see that it's lined up all along there. Then start going up the sides. And around the edges slowly working it until you see no spaces okay now you can put the two screws back in the bezel Okay, and one more time I'm going to test it before I put the, uh, the little glued covers, bezel covers. And there we go. Okay, these are going to lay down this way. So you can place it on there. Again, if you um, get these, you get touch them too much, you can just take a little bit of super glue. Close the lid and look all the way around the edge and make sure there's no separations. Now we can flip it over, put our battery back. And if that's all it was damaged on it, you're good to go. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this and it helps you replace your screen. If you have any questions, comment below. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks.